Good morning. It is March the 22nd, 2017. Time to kick off another trading day with our customary disclaimer. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, I, I think all of today's markets really boils down to the direction of um, the E-mini. little blue and green right there, getting pretty fancy. Uh, if you read the press, this could be the start of a sell-off in the um, equities, uh, moving to risk-off investments around the globe. Uh, that's the overnight chatter. Uh, Trump's agenda, if he doesn't get oh, his uh, Ryan Care uh, passed, uh, might go spill into um, Supreme Court nominations taxes. There's articles out about the tax cuts may not be as large as anticipated, uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, right now, we talked about it two days ago that this impending vote this uh, week in for Ryan Care might be the negative sentiment that uh, is taking the markets down. So if the ES continues to sell today, Treasuries will trade higher. Uh, if the ES pauses, I imagine treasuries will pause also. They won't break, but they won't trade higher. So uh, right now we have nothing but P's behind us. Uh, we've got a P on both splits right here. You put it all together, it's still a big P. And uh, resistance really starts at uh, 20. So I don't really like the sell side first, but first sell is 19 to 23. Uh, second is 27 to 31. On the buy side, 9 to 13, like the long side, first. If you can't get through that 18 to 20 area, you can certainly trade from the short side. And then 1 to 5 for the second buy. We have FHFA, Housing Price Index. Probably will hit it, plus a half a percent. Fed's just got to be tickled to death about what's going on in real estate right now. Existing home sales. plus 5.55 million and crude inventories plus uh, 1.9 for the EIA last night the API's built uh, 4.54 so I imagine we're going to play for uh, anything less than a 4.52 build will be somewhat supportive. If it were to come in at 1.9, I imagine we get a little relief lot rally in crude. But June 30th for the OPEC rollover is pretty far off right now. And <clears throat> Russia and Saudi Arabia both said they would consider rolling it over. On June 30th, and if they're going to hold prices in this $50 range, plus or minus, they're going to have to roll that production <coughs> agreement over in June. Uh, the um, U.S. production is going to go higher. Uh, again, uh, they've gotten the cost down in that $30 to $40 range <coughs> uh, for uh, fracked oil. And they're more than competitive right now. So uh, Saudi Arabia has been the swing producer for years. I think they're back in that role. If they want to keep crude oil above 50 bucks. Um, because the uh, what happened in the oil patch, there were bankruptcies, but everybody thought there would be tons of bankruptcies. There weren't. Uh, people recognized the value of um, crude oil over time. Uh, things were bad enough that uh, they went out and they raised equity. Uh, the ones that were in that position, and they've all, the ones, not not the marginal ones, but the ones that had something there, um, 
are still in the game and they did it by raising equity so that's what's really facing uh, OPEC uh, Iran Saudi Arabia and Russia all need hundred dollar oil uh, to uh, meet their social requirements for their budgets and they're not they're not anywhere close to that so uh, Russia is the first to blink they cut their defense budget by 25 <clears> percent <throat> even though their economy looks like it's starting to recover uh, from these lower oil prices. Okay, looking at the bond uh, right here, 16 to 20. Number one, 23, 27, sell one. And I'll make three to seven, sell two. On the buy side, four to eight, number one. Well, 29 to 01, buy one. And uh, 21, 25, buy two. Okay, gold was hung in there. Um, it did get into our first sell zone last night. Um, and that did hold. We did not get stops above 50, so the play is still stops above 1250. And uh, we've got a B shape in the overnight session. So we had, I believe we had 48 to 50. Yeah, we had... Uh, 46 to 48, then 54 to 56. So we had 46. That was our sell last night. Um, we'll make it 48 to 50 this morning. Sell one. And 54, 56, sell two. So we, we caught gold right. We hadn't had a, uh, a big break. Got a high of, say, 49 and a low of 44. Five bucks. So 40. So we'll make 40. 39, 41 by one. And 35, 37. So trying to buy 35s to 40s, and basically selling 50s to 55s. And if the stock market breaks today, I imagine gold is going to go higher. But it does not have as tight a relationship and risk relationship uh, with the direction of the uh, stocks as uh, Treasuries do. Okay, the euro is off a little bit overnight, not a lot, but it was off. And again, th the biggest thing going for us, um, while we don't abandon the short side of the market, uh, the market can rally. We don't have any problems with that. Uh, and uh, is that the European Central Bank wants the euro lower so they can export more and um, a lot of projections that the euro is headed for par. It hadn't made it yet. 105 seems to be the uh, uh, the bottom right now. So 50 to 60 sell one. 75 to 85 sell two. On the buy side, 108.25 by one, and 108 even by two. Crude oil last night a big build, um, 4.5. Four million barrels in crude oil. Gasoline drew 4.9. That counted that. Distillates drew 0.9. Cushing built almost 2 million barrels. So the build in crude uh, somewhat offset by the drawn products. <coughs> so we are headed lower and we've got stops down here below 40 seven we're that close um, because of the uh, inventory report today I don't think the selling will break hard early in the session we're likely to look at you know 40 ticks plus or minus 
So our, our play probably comes after the news, as we've been doing the last couple of weeks, couple, three, four weeks. It's a good trade for us. It works out pretty well. Uh, so buying just below 47.50, buying below 47 bucks would be the second one. On the uh, sell side, the spill from 48. Uh, so basically leaning against 48 up here would be the sell. 48, 48 and a quarter structurally sell one. Might take something, but leaning against 48 I think is reasonable. I think it started. Then uh, 48, 50, 48, 75, sell two. So if the EIA number comes in at 1.9 million barrels as opposed to 4.5 plus million barrels, uh, we should get a relief rally. And when we come up here and we look at the market, you can see that this 48.50 area is probably the cleanest break in the market. So, you know, having a 48.48, 48.47, 48.45 sell against 48.50 and a limit sell looks like a reasonable trade right now. And again, bullish news doesn't rally the market, bearish news doesn't break it. That's that's the easiest trade to take. Okay, pause day for the E mini or continued selling. Is this the start of a new sell off? The long awaited correction. And again, we, we we have more articles in the morning telling us that it's time for the E mini to sell. But again, just to show you this this is a pretty unusual bar back to November before we see a, star, uh, a bar that big. And um, so uh, again, day one, a mom move out of the middle. You can see that right there. If the selling starts today, we have a new, dist if the selling continues this morning, we have a new distribution lower. And that's how you can read the profile in the up bar charts. Uh, I did a London split, uh, so we've got the Globex high right here, so our first sell is 40 to 42. And the last rotate up in P period stopped at 43, N period stopped at 46.50, L period stopped at 49, so our first S1 is leaning against this area right here. And um, we'll make uh, 45, 47, sell two. On the buy side, uh, 30 to 32. Give it a little room, but it might take a 35 to get in. And again, for us, we, we've got the vol requisite volatility we need if it sells early in the session. And we'll be looking today to see what type of 50 lot buying, 50 lot or greater buying we have. We don't have it. Uh, there's more selling to come, in my opinion. So is this day one of a new breakdown in the market, or an actual correction, or did we have it all done in one day? And what we should get our answer early by just kind of tracking what the 50 lot trader does. Okay, it's going to take a bit to get everything up and posted. Going to get busy on that. I'll be back with you as soon as possible.